I'm a couple hours outside of Bangkok to bring you a very special CB Media YouTube video. Today, we're checking out this triple turbo rice tractor. Yes, you heard that correctly. Triple turbo rice tractor. I met my new friend shop called Chung Oat Garage, where this is what he specializes in. They build rice tractors from the ground up here at the shop. And this one is very special because it's powered by a Hino 7.7 liter inline six turbo diesel that normally comes in big rigs or tractor trailers, but this one has been heavily modified. I told you three turbos, it's insane. But something you need to understand, I've said this in these videos for years, Thai people will modify and upgrade absolutely anything with a ninja. And that does not include just taxis and tuk-tuks and diesel trucks and ambulances. It also includes rice tractors. And the reason for this is because rice is Thailand's largest export. Like on a global scale, as far as things that this country makes, well, besides ladyboys, rice is the most famous thing that this country exports. So rice tractors are obviously going to be a big deal here in the country of Thailand because so many people make their living off farming rice. So this thing is massive and I want to explain to you how it works because it's pretty interesting. Essentially what this is, is this contraption drops down to about a foot off the ground. This thing spins and all the rice that is collected goes through here into this thing and then goes through the shaft and then up here where this tank is, that is where all the rice is stored. And at the end of the day, when they wanna offload the rice into a dump truck to take it for processing, this is what this big cannon is for. They basically, it shoots all the rice that's stored in the container into the back of a dump truck, and then off it goes, and the rice farmers get paid. Before we go into more details about the engine, I wanna take you inside this rice tractor because it is crazy. The interior build on this is almost as good as the engine. Look at this. It has like a full audio system with component speakers here and then a subwoofer box, a ported subwoofer box with a single 10 inch subwoofer, the custom screens, this is crazy. This is a rice tractor, not a Rolls Royce. And it is so incredibly baller in here. This has to be the sickest rice harvesting machine on planet Earth. Okay, back to the power plant on this thing. Like I told you guys earlier, it's from a Hino, which is a tractor trailer or a big rig. And it's an inline six, but a massive inline six, a 7.7 .7 liter dual overhead cam, four valve. Now this engine factory makes 245 horsepower and 750 foot pounds of torque. With this setup, with the triple turbo setup, they actually don't know how much horsepower it makes. I mean, I think it'd probably be difficult to put this thing on a dyno to test the wheel horsepower because there's no wheels. Hello guys. <laughs> Hello. So these are the guys that build rice tractors here in Thailand. And uh, I interrupted their day by coming here to make a YouTube video. But this is basically a frame, a chassis. This is where they start. All these tractors, the ones you see behind me here, are all built in-house here at Chung Oat Garage. Yeah, see here? These are normally the type of tractors they build. And from what I'm seeing, most of the tractors are using the same engine. It's called a Hino factory. They make about 245 horsepower. Here's another one out of a tractor. It's just sitting here chilling. Bro, look at the size of this freaking wrench. I mean, I guess you need to you need big tools to work on big engines. I mean, they literally build every piece of this rice tractor, but this is the garage where they build all this stuff. It's pretty fascinating actually. Look at these things. Wow. Wow. Look at that. Oh my God. Look at the racing seats. That is hilarious. Even the most basic rice tractors here are also modified. Oh my God. Look at this. What is going on over here? You guys see the bride seat? But look at this. They're all customized. They have custom seats. Everything is painted and powder coated. And the thing is, is it's completely unnecessary to modify these things like this. I mean, it's a, a piece of farm equipment. It's a working utensil. But again, the people of Thailand just cannot leave anything stock. It's impossible for them to not modify anything and everything they can. And I love that. Oh no, is it that time? Cheers. 
Good. Chuck Gow. Chuck Gow. Chuck Gow. Cheers, bro. Thanks for the beer. <laughs> you know, you're in Thailand. People are going to give you beer. It just happens. Now that we've done a shop tour and we've had a beer break, it's time to take this triple turbo rice tractor to its home out in a rice field. Now we're not actually gonna farm any rice today, but I can't come all this way and not see this thing run. Let's do it. Peace!